Hey guys, it's me here, Deagle, and welcome to today's video. Now, in today's video, I just want to go ahead and talk to you guys about the Keemstar situation. Now, just before I get right into this video, I'm going to explain what the Keemstar situation exactly is that has been going on this past week. So, just before I get into this story, I just wanted to sort of say uh, I do not want any negativity directed towards their channels. As I'm a fan, you know, of all these content creators, and I do wish they will stop this attack and sort it out in more of a peaceful uh, solution that they can or benefit from so the keemstar situation is the basically the story of it is that keemstar was, was caught talking about leafy and grade a underwear behind their backs so this like obviously got them thinking you know, of an idea to sort of get one back on keem and they obviously aspired the idea of actually trying to destroy drama loot to get one back on keem so leafy and grade a underwear decided to make videos attacking drama loot and other creators joined in too on the attack of drama loot to try and, and destroy what Keemstar has created. Now these guys are probably more likely just jumping on the hate wagon trying to get a load of them views off drama by being it in their titles or whatever they're just trying to get out of it or maybe I'm totally wrong in just being an asshole by saying that and they have something again, some vendetta against Keemstar. Pyrocynical is also another popular creator that is attacking drama loot. Now honestly I 100% agree with him and why he's doing this. Every day you know what I mean I always jump on Twitter to try and get my daily dose of drama from Keemstar and most of the time you know I always see him disrespecting Pyrocynical most of the time. I've seen like various tweets from Keemstar with him releasing Pyrocynical's personal information like pictures of him in real life you know saying that this is him, this is a fairy. Like if he wanted to sort of you know do a face reveal, show his face on the internet, he would have done it himself you know by himself on his personal channel but instead you know he decides not to do that like one of the very few YouTubers that do so. But now as that's being said you know I think sort of the consistent tack in towards Keemstar and Drama Alert needs to be stopped. It's like it's not healthy for either sides and Keemstar has a family you know what I mean that should be took into consideration like you know he's got a house he's got bills to pay and Drama Alert might be like the only main source of income for Keemstar and his family. Now, if that is, you know, the situation, the case, uh, if it is this situation, you know, this could destroy Keemstar's work, you know what I mean? This constant bashing, this constant hate, and everyone following the hate train, like, this could leave his family homeless, or even struggling to pay the bills, and, you know, put him in a worse position, and I mean, you know, the internet does affect a lot of people with jobs, as it's been proven in the past with many, you know, cases. So now, honestly, guys, if you're going to make videos attacking Keemstar, tracking Dromlo, trying to destroy it, make sure, you know, he's actually done something to you guys personally, because, like, just put yourself in his daughter's position, you know, think about Keemstar's family before actually attacking him, you know, that could be the case, you know, imagine if you are his daughter, like, your dad loses his job, right, through something stupid on the internet, like this sort of similar situation, your dad then struggles to get a new job, you have to move towns, you have to move schools, you have to leave all your friends behind, you can no longer sort of afford, you know, the luxuries that you could beforehand, and your family is basically falling apart. Your mom and dad always stressed, always arguing, you know, they get divorced and whatever through the same situation and boom, you know, you're back to square one, you know, you're in a horrible position. Like, I do not want that to happen to Keemstar's daughter. Now, that is something that has happened to me in the past and honestly, guys, it's not a nice thing and I do know that, you know, on the internet, you know, I don't really like to sort of talk about anything like this personal but I just think, you know, like, I don't really care anymore, you know, if people want to say the piss for that, if people want to use that against me. I mean, I don't really do many things to many people for that to happen, but yes, so all I'm going to need to do is just, you know, please think about his daughter if you're going to make these videos. But and anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. If you're new, please subscribe. And if you, you know, want to leave a like, leave a like. I don't know if it'll be uh, kept on for this video or even any video. But anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace. Catch you guys in the next one.